I was going through some old photos of my grandmother who passed away recently at the age of 93. I found some of her in her youth that I had never seen before. So cool to see her during a time in her life that I never knew. There was just one problem. That's not my grandma. This is. There's a lot of talk about how AI is going to change our future, but now with the ability to alter photographs and videos with a swipe of our finger, it got me thinking, is AI also changing our past? Hello puppets, welcome to the channel, I'm Meta Puppet. Hit subscribe, or don't, no pressure. So in what ways could AI be changing our past? With photography, digital restoration has been around for a while, but not like this. Magnific is an AI upscaler that enhances an image not just by upscaling, but also by what's referred to as hallucinating. It's actually using a form of stable diffusion under the hood to dream up details in the image. And I have to say, it does an incredible job at it. And people have been coming up with some crazy use cases for it. This has got to be one of my favorites. You know those emojis in your phone? Look what's been lurking inside them. I mean, that's totally disturbing. Magnific can achieve upscales as high as 10,000 by 10,000 pixels, too big for YouTube to display. You'll have to download an example online or try it out for yourself. It currently costs $39 a month, and it's not the only AI upscaler on the market, but it has been generating the most noise. Even Elon Musk recently commented on it. So this is what Magnific thinks my grandmother looks like through all the graininess of the original photo. And it does a great job but humans have an uncanny ability to recognize faces, and I know that that's not my grandmother's face. To be fair, it's not like this program was intended to recreate images of relatives, but it did get me thinking. There had never been a time before in human history where we could capture our world as it really was until the invention of the photograph. Up to that point, it was just artist renderings, like drawings, paintings, and sculptures, which are all just interpretations of reality through the artist's eye. But when photographs came along, we were able to capture reality as it really was, and it was indisputable. You could not change it. Or so people thought. Today, the new camera is the phone, and we use it to manipulate pictures and video all the time, from filters to effects, to now even being able to remove someone from the background, or move ourselves into a different position. I mean, who here remembers taking pictures on a film camera and trying not to blink during the flash? That's why people counted to three back then. Now you don't have to worry about that, you can just change it. And I think these are great improvements, but we are manipulating the reality of the moment. So really, the ability to capture reality with a photograph and not alter it lasted for all of a blink of an eye in human history. Is it better or worse? I don't know. I mean, here's an original photo of my grandmother as a baby, and here's the photo upscaled in Magnific. Now, if my father presented me with this photo and said, here's a picture of grandma when she was a baby, I would believe it. And yeah, I think it's better looking at this photograph than the original one, but I know it's been altered. But what if my future grandchildren, who never met my grandmother in real life, see these photos? They would believe it's her. I guess it's kind of no different from the portraits we have of famous people from the past. Like, this is George Washington. At least, it's what we think he looked like based off an artist's rendering of him. Oh, wait, sorry, that's not him. This is George Washington. This is the original portrait. This one is the AI upscaled recreation. But just the fact that I presented it first and said that it was George Washington, did you believe it? If the details change slowly over time, it's eventually just going to be accepted as the original. How about this? Is this Da Vinci's famous Last Supper, or is this an AI rendition of it? It's AI. This is the original. Magnific has a creativity slider where you can increase or decrease how much it hallucinates new details. You can also tell it to resemble more or less of the original image, fine-tune HDR details, and increase or decrease practicality, which can create some pretty trippy artistic qualities like a rose made up of dozens of tiny roses. Turn the creativity slider up to 10 and we get this for the Last Supper. Wow, look at the food on the plate. I knew it, even Jesus liked meatballs. So here's the original Last Supper. Most accounts claim that da Vinci used the faces of actual people to stand in for the apostles' faces. He hung out around jails and sketched criminals to find an appropriate face 
for Judas, the apostle who betrayed Jesus. And though it's not proven, it's even rumored that da Vinci painted himself into the Last Supper as St. James. So like, as far as pretty much all of human history goes, what the real people looked like, we'll never know. And ironically, despite all of the technology we currently have and the millions of photos and videos that are taken every single day, future generations might not really know what we looked like either. So would you rather have grainy, hard to see images of people from your past or upscaled reimagined pictures that look like them, but you know is not really them? Let me know what you think in the comments. And just for fun, here's a picture of the oldest surviving photograph that we have. And here it is with the AI upscaler. Which do you like better? Let me know down below. If you want to try Magnific, I included their link below. Subscribe to the channel and hit like if you like the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you or a version of you in the future.